guys, Sabrina back here, and we are doing the Hawaiian themed cake. And now to start on the cake. Um, basically, I never really use the box cake. I always make mine homemade. But I'm in a rush, so I want to get this cake done before the date. So I went out and bought the cake mix. Um, you want to get something that's very moist when you're making a cake. Everybody loves a moist cake, so make sure it says moist cream on the cake. They make these in Betty Crocker, Pillsbury, every kind of brand you can possibly think about. This one I have Pillsbury. I have plastic white and strawberry because the, the, the lady that ordered the cake, she wants strawberry swirl. So I'm going to show you how I'm doing that. Um, so I have two boxes of these, each one. The white, and then I have a bag of frozen strawberries and pineapple. Yummy! Of course, it's a Hawaiian theme, so you've got to have flavor in there. So this is going to be mixed into the cake mixture. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take all the wet ingredients that we're going to need for the cake with the strawberries. So what I have is my blender behind me here. And I'm going to take the straw and the frozen berry. Open these up. And place them in my blender here. Just like that. Now, any of the wet ingredients that are inside the box container which I have one cup of water, so I'm using two boxes, so you're going to need two cups of water. And what we're going to need is one third cup of um, oil. So I got my little vegetable oil here. My little thing is huge. <laughs> and I'm going to pour one third, and then I'm going to say to pour one third again. Okay, so there's one third. And I'm going to do it again. One third again. It should be a total of two thirds, pretty much. There's a the vegetable oil. And next item we're going to be needing is eggs. It requires three eggs for each box, so I'm going to need six eggs. So I have my eggs right here. And I'm just going to crack them and put them in here. One, two, three, four, five, one more, six. So those are all the wet ingredients that we need. Put the lid on top and blend it in. Okay. So now that all my wet ingredients are all mixed in, I'm washing my hands here. Always keep your hands clean. I have all my wet ingredients. I'm going to take my mixture here and place it in the bowl. Everything. So I have my bowl here and I'm going to get the strawberries. 
Don't do this at home if you're not a professional. I'm cutting it with a knife. <laughs> okay, so I got my strawberry cake mix in here. There's one. Preheat the oven to 350. That's my oven telling me it's ready. If you have a mixer at home, you can use your mixer. I do mine by hand. My mixer broke on me, so that sucks. But I'll be getting a new one. Okay, for my birthday. Yay. So I got my whisk here. <laughs> and I'm just going to mix this up. And when you're making the strawberry, this just gives it more of a moist taste to it. It gives it more of a flavor, more fruitier and instead of sugary. And you will get compliments. Trust me. So here I am mixing it. Make sure it's nice and mixed in there. And there it is. So this is going to make the cake. So what we're going to do is place this to the side right now because it's a strawberry swirl. So I need to get another bowl. And we're going to mix the white mixture. We don't have to add nothing to this except what it tells you, which is one cup of water and one third cup of oil and three eggs again. So, I am going to do that. Two cups of water. Let me get more water here. There's one. Then you're going to need your oil, big ass tub of oil, I'm going to put in my other little thing, and we're going to need one third, so it's going to equal to two thirds oil. Ta -da. I'm going to place this to the side. You did it, oil. Do muscles here. <laughs> Need six eggs. Put my eggs right here. One, two. And I'm just tossing them over there because my cat right there. That's three. Four. I'm going to wash my hands after that because I got egg yolk over it and dry them up. Add the cake mixture. This is the white cake. I don't really like to use the vanilla. I like the white cake instead because I added the pineapple so it gives it that pineapple flavor in there. You can even use fresh... Um, fruit in your mixture as well. You can use a, a carton of uh, fresh strawberries. Make sure you take the stems off and a can or you can cut fresh pineapple or banana. That's good too. So can you rinse this off real quick? We are mixing the white cake now. Let's do 
smells so good. I wish this was smell video so you can actually smell it. Because even though it's not even in the oven, you can still smell the sweetness. So I'm just trying to get all these little lumps out of here. Okay, so there is the cake, the white cake. Now you're going to get your pan, which I told you I have a 12 inch pan here. And this one I bought at Michael's. I have my non-stick cooking spray. And I'm going to spray the heck out of this. I'm going to make sure my whole layer is completely in there. That way it will never stick and I can just pop it right out like nothing. So as you can see here, it is coated. Coated. Don't be afraid. So now, oh, let's get away on this one. We are going to take the strawberry mixture and the white mixture and we are going to pour these in here. So what I'm going to do is because half of this is going to go in here and the other half is going to go in here because we're making two layers of the cake. So I only have one pan so I do one layer at a time unless you have two pans go ahead. I am putting one side with the pink, strawberry, and the other with the white. Just like so. Wash my hands. You ready? Betty Crocker tool. This is two sided. Love it. I'm going to use the smaller side. And what I'm doing here, if you can see carefully, I have the mixture in here, one on each side. And I am just going to take my tool here, and you're going to go back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, making like a figure eight. And that is going to give you your swirl. And this is done. Just like so. You don't want to do it too much because you're actually mixing it and it's going to come out a different color. You want it to look like a swirl, like a marble type of cake. So this is completely done. So what I'm going to do is put this in the oven now because my oven is now preheated. And it does tell you to bake. Once it's like softly golden on the top, that's when you want to pop it out. So I'm going to come back here with it all popped out and with both layers finished. And you want to have them cool down, completely cool down until there is no more heat off of it. Reason for that is because we are going to be using frosting for the cake. Um, I like to do it with fondant, but the customer wants it in frosting, so I'm going to show you how to do the three layer changing color frosting um, that's going to make it look like a sunset, which is very, very pretty. And I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. So what I have is a big old tub of frosting that I get from Michaels, and I'm going to show you how to, um, which one it is in the next video. So this is part one on the cake. So make sure you bake your cake with two layers. 
and I'm going to show you when I get mine out and have it cool down. It's going to take a few hours. And I'm going to come back here with this part two on this tutorial to show you how we're going to put it all together, okay?